self-conscious some people naturally sweat more than other people because the body odor differ I mean can differ from person to person and sometimes no matter how clean you are no matter how much you shower every day but it seems like pointless and useless so it's really annoying although there are many deodorants over the counter that help you stinkless throughout the day but um, but using them is not a permanent solution. So guys, if you are looking for a natural alternatives as opposed to chemical-based deodorant, and if you want to achieve long-term results, so this video is for you. And you can follow this um, home remedies that I've been doing for years because even my husband, he said, I don't really have a bad odor on my underarm. Even if I'm sweating, it's like odorless, <laughs> promise, odorless yung sweat ko, hindi sa pagmamayabang. But first, we have to investigate, of course, um, what are the causes of bad body odor. Number one, the precocious puberty. That's when the child's body uh, changes into an adult's. Number two, the fish odor syndrome. That's a genetic disease. It's really hard from that person. It he or she have that kind of um, genetic disease. Number three, uh, also the medication. So when you're taking medications, some may cause um, body odor or something like that. And also the food and the drinks that you consume. Like for example, if you're eating too much onion, so it will make you smelly <laughs> body odor or your underarm. And also, if you have um, medical conditions like diabetes and the rest of something um, condition, ano ba yan? the rest of something condition that may affect your uh, body odor. So that's the reasons why some of the other people have the same uh, got that problem. But whatever causes that smelly armpit or yes, your body odor. And try these simple home remedies. It's very easy to use and it's uh, very affordable because it's just on your kitchen. So let's start. So guys, here are the home remedies that I've been using. I will show it to you. I have here the uh, baking soda and lemon juice, a lemon and cotton balls i also have a tea tree oil so what we have to do now is to put um or add two spoons of baking soda here and the lemon juice and mix it i'm adding the tea tree oil and my baking soda and lemon juice and I'll mix it together so it's like a paste see and I also have this one so what we are going to do now is to we have to exfoliate first okay Mm 
Dapat puputi ito. And we will leave it at least two to three minutes. So let's do on the other side. So, let's leave it like that and then uh, wash it off after 3 minutes. Synthetic clothing also can cause a bad odor because they are not natural fabrics and um, they are man-made products and produced with chemical base. You have to be careful what you are wearing kasi minsan nakakakause yan ng ano, um, what you call that, uh, bad odor. Especially guys, dati kasi yung mga bata pa tayo, pagpapalitan tayo ng mga damit. So, pag kapatid natin mabaho ang kilikili, is uh, parang nakahaluan din tayo. <laughs> parang nalipat sa atin. So, avoid changing clothes talaga kasi um, it's very annoying at often times na hindi ka naman mabaho ang kilikili. Tapos, pag amoy mo sa sarili mo, ang baho-baho na. So, you uh, you get it from your sisters or your friends' clothes, so it's embarrassing. Embarrassing talaga pag may mabaho kang kilikili. Especially ang ganda-ganda mo, ang RTRT mo, te. Tapos ang baho-baho ng kilikili mo. Ay, hindi na babagay. So, kailangan mo yan ng ano, uh, tea tree oil at saka lemon. Kuskusin, kukurin mo ng tulog at mawala ang baho. So, yan ang ano, ang mga sikreto dapat. I'm not using deodorant talaga. Um, my husband is asking me, bakit hindi ako nag-deodorant? sabi ko, bakit ako nag-deodorant kung ang kilikili ko naman hindi, ano, mabaho? I'm using tea tree oil and, ano, um, what you call this? Tea tree oil and baking soda. And also, sometimes, girls, you can also... Uh, use this one apple cider vinegar I am using tea tree oil because tea tree oil is one of the best remedies that combat body odor and fight the odor causing the bacteria in that area so that's why it's very important for me so I've been using this for um, since I've been here in Ireland because I saw someone also using this one and you can use this as your feminine wash uh, add two drops on your um, on the water yung may tabo kayo then add two drops of this and then wash it off so it's very uh, helpful but girls we need to be careful when using tea tree oil because tea tree oil is very or extremely potent it may cause a skin uh, irritation and redness and we don't want to happen that to us sayang naman ang pinaghirapan natin kung may irritate lang tayo. So, you need to do a uh, patch test first before um, using uh, tea tree oil. What I love in this uh, home remedies is that it helps uh, brighten and exfoliate my underarm. So, that's why I'm using this. I'm using this uh, sometimes twice a day after I took a shower or before I took a shower. I'm using this. Um, I exfoliate like three times a week you guys want to try this one and then tingnan nyo after uh, one week if my results sa inyo this might uh, help you especially if you girls or guys um, yung may sobrang mabaho na mga kilikili minsan hindi yan may iwasan I'm 
what what is the reason why are we using a um, baking soda because baking soda is uh, helping your underarm to be sweat free and dry so uh, it's very good when using it kasi uh, hindi na lagi magbabasa yung underarm mo and the antibacterial properties can help fight the bacteria that can cause smelly smelly underarm feet so that's the the purpose of this baking soda and also the purpose of lemon why we are using that because uh, the acidity of the lemon juice will darken and exfoliate the underarms removing the dead cells from your skin surface so that's uh, also important para may exfoliate yung underarm natin kung gusto nyo maging may maputi na kilikili so tayo kasi mga girls huwag tayong ipokrita gusto din natin maging maputi especially if you are a Filipino Gusto mong maging maputi yung kilikili mo. Mga singit at mga at iba pa. Kasi, <laughs> kasi yun naman tayo yung mga Asian. Gusto mong pumuti. So now, here. Mm. Yan. Mm, smells good from the aroma of a tea tree oil. Mixed with lemon. Bango-bango ng kilikili ko guys. Try nyo kaya. Para mabango din ang kilikili nyo. Especially sa mga babae out there na may mga mabaho ang kilikili. It's very embarrassing girls. Hindi lang naman kailangan na maputi ang kilikili mo. It doesn't matter as long as walang amoy. Kasi pag may amoy, kagaya sa mga nasa mga bus kayo, kulog ng mga sasakyan, tapos sobrang baho ng ano, hihimatayin ka talaga. Ako, may dala-dala ako ng white flower, kasi sinisikmura ako pag may maamoy ako ng ano, um, mga mabaho ang kilikili. So, that's it guys. Um, the whole video of mine, I hope, nakakatulong po ito sa inyong lahat. Especially you ladies na nagsasabar ka sa mabaho mong kilikili. So, try this uh, home remedies of mine kasi um, nakakatulong talaga siya. Nakakatulong to sa friend ko, nakakatulong to sa akin. Minsan, sa asawa ko, I'm not using deodorant at all. Kung minsan naubusan kami ng uh, soda, I mean baking soda, pag naubusan kami niyan, yung lemon lang at saka tea tree oil, tea tree oil, halo ko lang din yan sa water, then cotton balls at saka ganun -ganun. And then, you can apply this twice a day uh, in the morning and before you go to sleep yeah and you will have the magical effect in the morning and no um, bad odor on your outfit so thank you for watching if you like my video please hit that thumbs up and that uh, subscribe button there and also hit the notification bell so you will be notified on my next video so see you soon bye Come and fly away.